Hello there, this is Mr. Mister here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading. So this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. I took all my makeup off and my skin feels amazing. So I'm just coming on barefaced because I was this close to not doing a reading and then I just heard quick reading quick reading I'm like oh yeah I don't see what the quick reading is about <laughs> when it gets straight to the point the magician came out this deck kind of shifted with how the table moved I have like a rack of decks because I just try to organize it. I'm going to show y'all because it's so many. I try to organize them and this is the only way <laughs> I manage to. So sometimes the decks, I'm, I'm trying to get shelves here. So this is like a buffet of decks, right? That's a lot. That's a lot. And I just have like this rack of, it's so heavy too, I can't even... And sometimes they slip, like sometimes some of the cards slipped. I see recognition and manifestations with a magician here. So it's like this card just wanted to slide on the table. I see a person recognizing something special and there is a manifestation coming through here. Someone here, yes, they're recognizing that there's something they want, you know, when you want something and you're whether you're realizing it or not you can put out the, an intention okay you are <laughs> Look, i'm getting this vibe of like whether this masculine realizes it realizes it or not okay i have more masculine energy here but this could be a woman as well someone here is i'm hearing the word desperately wanting something okay it's like a wish it's a really deep deep embedded desire of someone they have this desire and that's what's manifesting in a nutshell i get this vibe of like i really 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 want this <laughs> there's something somebody really 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 wants and we're gonna figure out what that is okay this could be you this could be someone else it's funny how the back of the deck has the fool or like the cover card here six of pentacles high priestess this, this is a card of balance. This is a card of giving and receiving. Maybe somebody really wants to give something or really wants to receive energy, time from a person. Queen of Swords, Four of Cups. I'm getting this vibe of like a rejection. The Queen of Swords isn't the most lovey-dovey person. This is someone who's quite witty, okay? They're using their discernment when it comes to making decisions. And despite the other energy really wanting something, I'm seeing someone pouring an offer out or pouring some. I'm just hearing the word bored, disinterested. Look, it's hurting someone. So a rejection is hurting another person. <laughs> okay, like maybe someone's like, I don't want this. I'm also hearing I don't want this anymore. Maybe there's something this person wanted once upon a time. <laughs> my skin y'all i've been breaking out a little bit that's why i'm like i'm amping up my skincare routine a little bit it's looking very dewy right now yeah i'm seeing another person just less than impressed i'm seeing the lovers okay there's a there's a feminine here i'm hearing less than impressed three of pentacles why is the three of pentacles out the strength Eight of Wands. Why is the Three of Pentacles out? I feel this energy. Ten of Wands. Page of Cups. What is this person trying to achieve? Seven of Swords. You know what I'm getting? Tell me more about the person in the Seven of Swords. Let me just get the rest off. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm seeing the energy from the top of the reading. There's a person here who's very 
they really want something their emotions are overpowering them at this point in time it's like they have like this deep desire i really feel that whoever this person surrounds themselves with could have been a terrible influence okay I'm seeing the goat man to the ten of wands. Whatever this terrible influence is, it's burdening them a lot. It's like this has me in the ten of wands with the seven of swords. It's it's almost like they either self-sabotage an opportunity or they try to pull a fast one on the queen of swords due to their environment. The three of pentacles has a lot to do with the people you either choose to work with, collaborate with. Like this is someone who collaborated and and maybe even took advice from people who really weren't bueno okay it's like it's burdening this person having involved themselves with these people in the first place or this person with the seven of swords it's like you know it's like they they're they were tending to that tending to this right heading towards the queen of swords now queen of swords I don't feel is in an energy of, of dealing with this because the Queen of Swords generally uses their discernment very well. I'm seeing the energy coming towards a Queen of Swords. So there's lies for some. It's like someone here is lying because the influence of these people as well put them in a position to have to lie. So let's say, um, I don't know, this is an odd example, but let's say this person gets with these bad influential people okay it's like okay we do drugs on the weekend i don't know what the heck are we are caught up in this mess we're doing the things so when they come to this authentic queen of swords they're lying to this queen of swords to cover up what they've did before or the involvement they've had before i'm feeling this very shysty energy but this queen of swords isn't interested in entertaining it anymore or at all it's like due to this negative influence this person wants little to nothing to do with them they poured their cup out i'm hearing so this could be you maybe you're in this energy of not wanting to deal with this person because they have the funk and this drag of the negativity around them or influencing them you might live with this person and when they come home you just know for some of you, they don't live with you, but like when they come forward, you know they're acting weird or you know they're lying or you know they're <laughs> not being authentic. I'm just seeing like someone like this. It's very funny because it's, it's like a vibe of I know what you're doing, you know, I know that you're lying. Uh, speak your truth because i'm a truth seeker the queen of swords is not about the bs it's very pointy it's to the point it's it's maybe even requesting the truth but it's this person is bringing in lies but they're on their 10th wand with the toxicity needing strength right now because they're feeling incredibly weak dealing with these people with the lovers that speaks of choices here okay i feel like somebody comes forward in a very you know they're not authentic coming forward because they're hiding this toxicity yeah tell me more about the seven of swords look they love someone i'm telling you i'm like with the seven of pentacles this love grew over time this person has been lying to themselves maybe even others about a love the two of cups is divine love so really they're fooling themselves and others because they're it's like this toxicity is trying to keep itself alive in this person's life it's like i'm trying to remain relevant whether the environment fed this person's ego whether the environment dragged this person under um in in addiction in whatever right and addictions don't have to necessarily be substance people can be addicted to patterns habits in life lifestyles um partners right there's something here this person dealt with could be in a community could be in an environment could be something they tended and put effort to and i get this vibe of like this this person actually had that genuine love i felt it in the king of cups to the star to the magician this recognition card is here in the two of cups again it's like <laughs> with the seven of pentacles for years or months to years seven of pentacles is a long time they've been lying to themselves others 
And also, in the meantime, this love has been growing as well. It's kind of strange, this reading. But I get this vibe of somebody just like futzing around on a divine connection with a person who sees right through it now. Or maybe they have all this time. Like, I get this vibe of like, there's something this person did quite often over time. This Queen of Swords is, is feeling a ways or just... I'm also getting a very mature energy. You could be older than this person or you're just more mature than this person. This person is like, yeah, I'm going to like, I look like, this silly energy. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to lie over here because this, this stupid goat man is still alive <laughs> in my energy. Silly, silly goose. Okay. All the while, this is something they've loved for as long as they have. Like, I don't know. This is strange. Tell me more about this person. This person is quite interesting. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. I'm hearing liar, liar, pants on fire. This person is their counterpart. I'm, I literally, the King of Swords fell right on top of the Queen of Swords with the lovers. These two could be most definitely counterparts. Now I have the, the King matching the Queen. But they're both very sharp now. They're both quite cold to each other, despite holding all this love inside. These two might have a conversation coming up. <laughs> They're tethered to the soul. It's like, there's no denying this. This person's been lying either to you, to others, themselves. And I'm seeing this individual's energy fall right on top of this Queen of Swords. This is very interesting. What's this about? All these cards just vomited <laughs> on the floor. Let's see. One at a time, please. Five of Pentacles. Someone here feels um, in lack. They might feel insecure right now. They might feel abandoned. There's something here this person isn't okay with given the circumstances. This person is on a tenth wand. There's abandonment here. And um, with the Nine of Pentacles, there's someone here who's either been... I feel this energy of being robbed of the opportunity to be abundant and independent and, you know, doing their thing. They're in the Five of Pentacles. But I feel it's due to the messes in the Five of Swords. This is sabotaging. This is needing to win at all costs. This could be people in this person's environment who robbed them of being independent and, like, being abundant in the self. Like, this person feels robbed of something. I get this vibe of this person either feeling left out in the cold, robbed, like there's this reason this person wants to talk or come forward or why this energy is here. This person could also be just getting um, a lot of messages at night. The nine of swords is nightmares. The divine is on this person. It's like this person is very overwhelmed. Ten of wands. Knight of cups in the reverse. tell me more someone here is like holding back the emotions they feel they're coming forward like a king or a queen of swords with the knight of cups in the reverse someone here with yeah clarifying the seven of swords they weren't genuine or they didn't come off sincere and that's why this queen of swords rejected the cup the knight of cups in the reverse is someone who can act very charming when convenient or is like just here to drink from the waters, not necessarily give it. Maybe there was a lack of emotional expression. There's just a reason something went so wrong. But I'm hearing a love like this was tainted by this negativity. And this negativity could be anyone. Okay, I'm hearing the big bad wolf. I don't know who that is. This could be someone's friend, controlling a person in their life, a parent from hell. I don't know what it is, but it's like there's an energy around them that made them have two two feet in two different worlds, okay? It's like, oh yes, I'm in love, but I'm also entertaining lower, vibration, lower vibrational things in a ways where I'm heading to this connection in that darkness, in that lie, in the deceit, right? It's like this person brought the negativity into something divine. And now there's, there's this bitterness that has grown between the two, um, there's an empress around, so shoot. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords surrendered. Nine of Wands in the reverse. I'm no longer going to sit in a situation where I feel wounded, battered, and bruised. Okay, and the upright is a person struggling. But there are two people struggling. 
I get a vibe of like two people struggling together. <laughs> in the reverse, someone surrendered something. That to me is a card of surrendering. When you're a wounded warrior in the upright, you still have fight left in you before you reach to the point of collapsing. I see somebody having surrendered before they reach to the 10th wand of collapse. It's like I'm giving up something. I really feel somebody just like threw in the towel here. Queen of Pentacles, that was a power move, I feel. Queen of Pentacles is recognizing one's value. It's a queen of value, nurture and care, okay? This person could have focused their eye on their finances, their career. You see how she's looking at the coin, but she's also looking at her reflection. Someone here was like, this. whatever this moment was, I get a vibe of value, recognize, transformation, death cards, dang. The chariot moving forward. Someone decided to just move forward. The chariot, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> For some of you, a person traveled for their career here. I'm getting that a little bit, okay? It's like, I'm going to do things that make me feel something about this being grounded. Yeah, for some of you, there was an offer that came in that put this person in that position. Three of Wands. And I heard Sayonara. I'm looking towards the sun. Dang, <laughs> somebody here decided to be happy. I get a vibe of like throwing in the towel I want to be happy. I'm hearing I want to be happy. Turning one's back on the past. Okay. Saying one's farewells. But it's like looking towards the sun, honestly. I really feel a person surrendered something. But why is this reading here? <laughs> High Priestess. Someone here is keeping their energy to themselves. Someone here could be spiritual as well with the High Priestess. I want to know what this king of swords is going to do. Let's assume that that's the person that was avoidant, um, entertaining, whatever fed their ego or whatever they were feeding. Okay, I get the vibe of someone here entertained things. All right, this could be anything. They entertained things that weren't good for them. They weren't healthy choices, whatever that means for this person. They weren't making healthy choices. For some of you, this doesn't have to be a romantic thing because the Three of Pentacles really screams community and practicality. But there could have been other underlying reasons because you could be in a community and it can still be low vibrational in the things they do and partake in. I really feel this person was a participant in certain things that really weren't healthy, whatever that means, okay? But it's bringing them to a very weak point in their life where they need the strength to overcome it. So it has become them to a point where I'm so weak, I really need to have the strength to get out of this, to move forward. Because this person has been deceiving themselves in entertaining that, but also deceiving themselves in now making a person surrender them as well. It's like giving up this because I want my happiness, I'm hearing. So I'm left with these two. What's going to happen here, spirit? I mean... They're looking like Ice King and Ice Queen here. What's going to happen? That's kind of like the backstory, okay? It's a backstory. It smells like a backstory. What is to happen with these two? Page of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm chuckling here, but I am. King of Wands. Page of Pentacles could be an energy of turning over a new leaf. It could be suggesting to start over. It could be suggesting a friendship. It could also be the energy of an offer, okay? Excuse me? <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles fell on top of it. Dang. Excuse me. That's that. that. That has me shook. From everything that I read, and I'm asking for outcome cards, I get the page of pentacles that could amount to the 10. Say what now? Dang. So, those who don't know, the 10 of pentacles is everything. That's stability, togetherness, security, um, for some, a booming business, all right, a prosperous legacy here that's sticking around for the long haul. I'm talking generations to come. So this itty bitty idea, suggestion, proposal is going to turn into everything. 
and I'm hearing as you wish. So if somebody here wants to partake in this person, there's something here that feels very like, I'm just seeing somebody like this, like, how do you go from doing all of that? This is very strange because I'm telling you, I ask, <laughs> I asked, what is to come of these two? Because they're hella cold with each other. And I don't, I feel like this is an act because they're really these two, like facts, okay? They're really these two. <laughs> but there's something that happens in between. And I'm seeing a person trying to befriend an individual or trying to get on their good side again. But I wouldn't underestimate this. And only you will know if this person um, is coming in correctly. Because your discernment knows what you don't want from what you do want. I feel like you've already gotten a taste of what you do not want. Seven of Swords style for the Seven of Pentacles. It's like you didn't just like take the cough syrup. Like you had it every night. Like this is something that happened um frequently or over time for a long time all right for some of you these could be people who um were committed to each other and are having a serious conversation because like sometimes you know soulmates they could have you know have their rough patches all right but i'm getting this vibe of like whatever the suggestion is yo this someone is taking the lead here to plan together like, this is a conscious choice someone is making to, to grow up, I'm hearing. The emperor is a grown-up. It's someone who does what's best for the community for the long haul. But I feel this is a new community to come. This is a new establishment to come because it's from this pentacle, this page. It grows to the ten. Truly. This is someone wanting to claim authority in this situation and fully make it about you two okay or for you you could have your own things going on this person's trying to integrate something here between you two all right and i'm actually quite shocked because i was prepared to like hear just about anything here because this is something that did not have a nice start whatsoever um and i find it hilarious because if i'm clarifying the lies with true love then you know someone is lying about divine love, a soulmate, how they feel. This is self-sabotage at times. This is lying to other people. But look at this. Like, they're only catching themselves here. I see somebody has, has chosen their sense of happiness just for this moment to come about. I'm going to see if I can clarify what's behind the two of wands. Yeah, man. This person... I feel in denial. Look, I get other people here block this person's vision from really honoring themselves. This is denial. Just two led to the three of swords. Denying things, blocking things off that you truly want. This is also not really seeing the forest for the trees. Someone here is blindfolded, okay? Maybe they themselves were blocked off or other people were blocking this person's view. Only led from two to the three of swords. They hurt themselves in ways right denying moving forward with this partner okay and i'm also hearing someone is a strange so for some of you these two really were like it or they had plans right and then something this person was involved in but you know what they were involved in this for a while so whether you knew it or not this person has been doing whatever this was for a long time I don't know what it is. It's something they were bound to, okay? For some of you, you never saw this side to this person. It's like from one minute, it's like all this started creeping into your connection and you're just like, how did this happen? <laughs> it's always been there. I'm hearing. It's been there for longer than you realize. You're just realizing it with the discernment that you grew over time or that you've realized like, oh, <laughs> that's what that is. I'm just seeing someone have like a, it's like a funk, like you know, an energetic funk. You just know something is off with this person. I feel like they didn't mean to bring that into the connection, but I get this vibe of them not wanting to disappoint you so it was easier to lie or it was easier to act as if this never existed. But it's like, it's just like the energy just looms right there and it goes back down through the lie and they come in all fresh and it's like hanging right around like, hey, I'm still around this person. And you had an inkling 
but it's like it's always hidden and it's like peekaboo and you're just like what the hell was that <laughs> you know i'm getting this vibe of this person hid this incredibly well or they just didn't want to include you because they love you but it's like no bud that's not how this works like i'm getting this vibe of like this person needed to be honest with you and i don't know what this is guys this could be an addiction they hid from you this could be you know people that they worked with which were super low vibration i don't know what it is that they did guys i don't know what it is but it just feels like you know now i think you know what this is i think you found out keys on a ring options addictions unconventional this person had addictions has a block or a restraint they might be blocked off from something or this is like you see how this person is carrying this thing shackled to them this heart there's something that they they had shackled to them and they needed to make a decision for some of you they avoided making a choice with you that's a lot heartbroken not enough i like you in the reverse and heart with a key i feel like this person they don't like you they love you okay it's like it goes way deeper than this shell this person presented at first i don't know what this is but it's like this person i don't know what they did here they could have lied to you they could have avoided expressing their feelings they could have avoided moving ahead with the situation they could have a, i just get an avoidant energy here because they're hiding the thing they were feeding the situation they were invested in stuck to actually and for some of you they just felt as though they they know what they were doing you know what i mean so it's like when you know that the goat man is hiding in your back pocket <laughs> and you're dealing with a genuine love you kind of feel guilty because it's like I'm carrying the goat man in my back pocket while I'm coming forward to you. You kind of feel like a POS, right? It's like after this person is like, I can't do this to this person. It only left them in heartbreak because you had the key to their heart all along. There's an ending between you two, but the love still resides. And if you don't feel it does, maybe you're in this energy of just being detached right now. For some of you, you know it's still there, but there's just too much shadiness that you don't really want to give into it anymore. Okay, this could be a very specific, specific reading. I have Capricorn, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer in the Chariots, Aries energy. You both could be air signs for some of you, or you both could be water, fire, or earth. Like, and for some of you, I'm seeing duplicate signs or... Um, elemental sign that's for some because y'all are coming out very interesting you know let's ask this deck because this deck knows this stuff big dreams and return this fell out like it shifted out somebody here wants to return to this they do more victim and surrender for some of you they're surrendering being a victim to their circumstance something they were bound to as i said i'm gonna stop <laughs> hitting the table because they keep slipping out wow forgiveness and as and integrity as i say it does this situation align with your values and morals i'm hearing it sure did not <laughs> so you could have rejected this person like there's something that didn't align with what you believed in forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward i feel like forgiveness needs to be had and for some of you and i'm not going to state this as you know facts for all of you there is potential for this to literally stand the test of time and i found that so interesting that's what i found so interesting in clarifying a potential outcome this is everything this is family expansion togetherness for some a flourishing business like I get this energy of thawing out the ice queen and the ice king for some of you children. Like, this is giving me... Y'all could really go somewhere with this. But I think this reading is here to prepare you because someone wants to turn over a new leaf. And <sighs> unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. That was the issue. Release. Someone here could be releasing unhealed wounds 
leap of faith. This is showing me what this person didn't do before. This Knight of Cups in the reverse wasn't a love offer this person didn't make. It's safe to make the move you're considering. I feel like this is like a person who could not take a leap of faith before and coming in with a genuine offer for some of you. They probably just took from you and didn't really present something substantial due to unhealed wounds. Whatever made them invest in that toxicity. I see an opportunity coming back around because this person had to go through an awakening. Firm boundaries are needed now. I feel you feel this way. Look, with what true love, I can't make it up. And I use that word too, which I don't always say that, but I felt it strongly. Someone here did not jump when the opportunity presented itself because there were unhealed wounds. And there's an energy that put up boundaries with this situation because it's like, the boundaries needed to be placed. I don't know what this is. And for some of you, this is too much for you to risk trying this again. Like, I don't know. Again, this 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 looks pretty severe. And what situation does not? Like, I feel like everyone has their level of darkness. But I can't identify specifically what this is. Okay. For some of you, yeah, I'm hearing all kinds of things just swarming through my brain. I'm not going to mention them. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going down this rabbit hole of things I'm hearing. I don't want to mention them because I want the person to use their own discernment. Um, because I feel like either way you put it, you needed to have boundaries with this. You didn't want to be swept up in this with this peekaboo party with this this thing back here. It's like, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to associate myself with this. Like, I feel like someone was too high vibrational to be dealing with a person bringing that forward to you. Yeah. I do. And your boundaries need to be here whether you decide to take them back or not. Because there's this energy of this being just too much for you. And you need to honor those boundaries, all right? When this page of pentacles comes forward, I would assess if it's something that will indeed move forward. What does this page of pentacles look like for you? What does turning over a new leaf look like for you? With the boundaries, you can say, well, I need this, that, and the third from you or in a partnership or, you know, for us to move forward. And I'm getting strongly for some of you, you two could be parents. Like, I need this in a partnership. That's what I require. If you can't give that, cool, deuces. But this is what I require to feel safe. I'm seeing a very stiff conversation between these two. All right? Because these boundaries, you can't just have somebody come in with just this energy. And I'm seeing, like, <laughs> like water. And it's just tainted by this. And this person is like, okay, are you really done with this? And for some of you, it could be something like a gambling addiction or because it's just, yeah, for some of you it is because this is everything to do with investments, right? Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. It's like where other people like collaboration community and then it's like the gold man, the gold man, the gold man. It's like, where's that money going? Like you put all this these pentacles in, but you're only walking away with one like, bro, you know what I mean? And I really heard gambling. For some of you, it is substance because it's like they're gambling with their health. Something. They're, they're test. This particular thing is like they're testing themselves. And it, it's something where it's like they're on the edge of sometimes losing themselves, losing things that should matter to them, losing things like health. I don't know what it is, but it's something that affects them enough for it to affect your connection. Okay. <laughs> In a nutshell. So you need to like put up boundaries and ask yourself, right? For some of you, wow, I'm done. <laughs> it's like, these cards are like, yeah, it started out like total crap, but you know, this has 
uh, I don't know, past life energies and soulmates written all over it with abundance in the long haul. So, mm, this is a hard one, guys. I don't like um, encouraging. That's the funny part. This is the best way to describe the situation is, yes, this person being a past life soulmate, which in this lifetime is supposed to depict true love for you, like genuine, wholesome love that can actually go somewhere that has the potential to be abundant in this lifetime. Yes, 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 yes. But it was tainted by this, okay? In a way where your boundaries need to be put in place for this not to be a recurring theme, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Your boundaries are equally as important here. Does that make sense? Because if this is really that kind of love, you know, I feel like this person, to be honest, they're not really in a position where they can continue this anymore. This is on the brink of collapse. You know when someone like deals with this energy so much to a point it's like this is like overeating binge eating you get a tummy ache you want to vomit <laughs> that's the brink of collapse this is i've done this way too many times i'm just tired of this that's the brink of collapse oh i've invested all of this and i've literally lost all my finances due to this addiction that's the collapse like there's some kind of breaking point <laughs> where this person learned their lesson and it's just like Ugh, i'm done with this behavior it is it is it has cost me everything it could have costed them their health you know whether physical mental it could have cost them money i don't know what this addiction was for some of you it was that for others of you it was like they were bound to someone in this energy as well but they participated in it too if this is a person but the goat man comes disguised in many things and I feel this person needed to be so fed up with it for them to vibe out of it enough to want to turn over a new leaf in their life. Hence, being able to do it with you. Because I don't think it's smart, right, to have somebody come in and want to turn over a new leaf with you just to be with you. No, you have to want to start over for yourself with or without me in the equation. That's how I feel personally. If someone comes to me and it's like, oh, let's do this, let's do that, but they're doing it just to have me in a connection with them. I'm like, me putting myself in that situation and I'm like thinking ahead, right? I'm like, well, did you want to have a fresh start for you? Are you making healthy choices for you? What are you doing as a person, as a human being for yourself? It's because otherwise they're doing this again. They're lying to themselves. <laughs> it's like you don't have to come and act all all pretty you know what i mean because if you're just gonna run back and do this because you haven't gone you haven't been to this dark you haven't been to this point of like being really done with it you're just doing more of this really assess okay i'm seeing this being a hard one it is can I get some examples of what this was? Because for some of you, it depends on what the goat man was. It could be a deal breaker. It could be a deal breaker. There's something about that community that wants to talk for some to you, okay? There's something maybe somebody wants to say with skeletons in the closet. There is an energy, this could be even like a person in their world, misery needing company. Yes, it's done, I'm hearing. Yep, 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 yep. This is a lot, but I'm just seeing RIP. That situation is done, so that's reassuring. <laughs> in a ways, right? It is over, but um, again this this is a broad spectrum there's something here this person tended to that was very toxic and i'm seeing it done but this could be someone from that toxic lifestyle wanting to talk to the person i'm speaking to yes i feel it 
This could be anyone. This could be a family member. This could be a co-worker. This could be, I don't know. Let's say this was a toxic work environment and the boss is like, yo, we need your person back. I don't know what it is. Like I'm getting this vibe of like whatever the toxicity, this could even be a friend of theirs talking to you. All right. Wedding. Wow. You can't see the word, but it says wedding. I really felt that energy too. Like these two could be people who are either married to get married, but they're just very cold now. Wow, and I'm seeing soulmate too. Date. This is that starting over a new leaf energy. Surrender. Yeah, you could have surrendered. Look, look, that's that person. Like, I just want to be free. I want to be happy. Someone surrendered the connection or surrender. Look, there's a snake here. So there is a karmic around. That could be what that toxicity was. Okay. The snake is around. There's a karmic energy around, buzzing around, um, that maybe have this person there. For some of you, this person is going to talk to you. I don't know why I'm getting this so strongly, guys. This individual wants to talk to you. They're like, let me tell you some truth here. <laughs> <laughs> but I also feel like that being um, turn, you turning over a new leaf with this person. <sighs> this is a lot. I'm seeing reconciliation, intuition, storm warning, ghosted. Reconciliation, proposal, legal matters. Can I get one at a time, please? Finances in the reverse whatever this is someone here lost money <clears throat> for some of you this is an industry they work in with music at the bottom of the deck someone here could have been like a musician and was you know like party like a rock star party like a rock i see a new cycle in love okay for some of you, I'm seeing a split energy here. For some of you, you're like, I prefer being single so that I can invite new love in my life. For a lot of you, I'm seeing this person coming back around wanting to fix this. But truly, if you know this to be a fact, that this is a karmic relationship, I repeat, karmic. I feel strongly this person didn't like abuse you in any way. But the stinginess, this, the deceit of juggling that double life, the dark life, is what tainted your relationship. There's a difference between somebody physically, emotionally, mentally abusing you, manipulating, like literally like because there's like this darkness within them that is casted towards you. Okay, that's, there's one scenario. And a different scenario being they love you like hell they do. <laughs> they love you a lot. But they just couldn't be honest with you because they were hiding what they were doing. All right, there's a difference. I feel this is a case of the latter. And you need to see what you're willing to put up with here because this is someone who's in their headspace right now. They're not in their heart right now. Like, I feel like who I'm speaking to let go of this person enough to use your discernment or use your head over your heart now. Because there's something about this person bringing this energy to you all the time. And it's like, <laughs> I'm seeing somebody like, I, well, do I want that? Right. I feel the love still resides. It's up to you. But there is potential for this to actually go somewhere. If this, this situation resonates with you. There's potential for this to actually go somewhere. I see that. Let me get my unicorn deck. Well, let's see what this person has to say first. I just don't know how to act in a committed relationship. Dang. For some of you, <laughs> this person you were committed to. Very strange message. For some of you, you were in a committed relationship. And um, this person had to learn to grow up. For others of you, this person didn't know how to act in things that are supposed to be grounded, solid, committed, you know? Mm -hmm. 
I would give it all up to be with you. Prepare yourself. I'm getting ready for union. And the chills on my back right now. That's what I'm telling you. Like, when I mean these two cards are the exact epitome of the whiplash this reading gave me. Because this felt like something where I was like, nah, 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 nah. We ain't dealing with that funk in here, right? <laughs> like, if I were in your shoes, I would just be like, next. Because this person really didn't know two-ish about acting. Like, I'm getting this energy of, like, where's your integrity? Where's your loyalty and honesty? Where is your this? Where is your that? Where I'm just saying, where is it? Like, what's not clicking, Steven? <laughs> right? This person admits they did not know how to act in a committed relationship. So it's like they were being very immature. But they're literally saying they would give it all up. Everything that they... <sighs> because they, they, they are guys they can't handle it anymore again this could have been a health scare this could have been just total utter breakdown their body can't handle anymore for some of you that they bust their bank account dealing with the situation i'm not seeing so much financial losses well lie saw the five of pentacles they did lose finances as well okay at some point but <laughs> this is like taking a toll. I feel like it's literally taking a toll on me, I'm hearing. So this they can't handle it anymore. So they're giving it all up to be with somebody and actually come into union with them. Honest to goodness, me guys, this reading was very confusing, but it makes sense. <laughs> it's like that's what that would be a requirement, right? You need your boundaries. If you're a man dealing with a lady, going out like this, acting like this, okay because it, it works both ways all right or if you're a woman dealing with a man man on man woman on woman i don't matter it don't matter you could be a masculine doing these things having done these things are are, are feminine in this energy but i see somebody growing up <laughs> as hard as it is to believe for someone here it's like really just maybe because i see someone giving it all up to be with that person they know is their person that I see. And all the cards coughing up and regurgitating here, they recognized. I just don't know how to act in a committed relationship, but I would give it all up to be with you. Prepare yourself. I'm getting ready for union. Don't you just love when the video cuts off when things were just getting good? So at the bottom of the deck, I read, whatever you are hearing or seeing on social media, know that it's all a facade. I'm hiding how unhappy I really am. My shadows are kicking my ass. I believe it. And this flopped out. My biggest regret is that I did not fight for this love. In a nutshell. Y'all, when I mean the divine is on this person, they are. It's like they're being kissed by baby Jesus because this is someone who, when I mean whatever they put your connection subject to, it turned you off so much so that it was just like, it was just overpowering the connection. And it, it had to overpower them to a point where they just seized it. They surrendered it. You're mirroring a surrendering here. Okay. You're the only one that makes them feel safe. In a nutshell, you are. So this person is going to come forward missing you more than they'd like to admit. And they don't want to see you move on either. Heavy motivator for this one as well. They don't want to see you move on. They miss you like hell. You know, this connection is powerful and you make them feel safe. But they had to, I'm just seeing, you know, in the movie Matilda, there's this kid named Bruce and he had this like binge eating addiction. Like he was, he was clearly overeating quite a bit. And then this teacher, I think it was Trunchbull, put him in front of everyone to finish this cake, right? He loves, apparently he loves chocolate cake. And he was eating the chocolate cake and he was like, mm, and he was being very greedy and grabbing it like, good. Oh, that was just a very gross scene. But he got so sick, guys, to a point where he had to vomit. 
that's what happened to this person. Now, I'm not saying this person had a binge eating disorder. Men can have that too. They do. Um, but this person just overconsumed this toxicity to a point where they just got so sick of it. And they're giving it all up. Like, I mean, giving it all up. Like, they're over it now. It did a number on them to a point where all they see is you and all they want to get rid of is this toxicity. And this can be symbolic for so many things. And I feel like it's going to surprise you. Something here is going to take you aback because you thought there was no way in how this person could detach from that. Like, that's what I'm seeing. It's really that big. And I feel like this is like the hand of God on this person's life. Like, this is profound because i'm i'm literally stunned like i was like oh yeah there's no way <laughs> there's no way this person did not take a chance on your connection before this person lied or deceived this continuously just to feed this situation this addiction this person whatever it was and now it's like they're so sick of it they they want nothing to do with it anymore they literally just want to vomit and that's like symbolic right for when you've you consume too much of something bad They've consumed so much negativity that, and they're a, they're a divine being, bro. Like, I really feel this is not someone with like a negative per se attachment to them. They're, they're better than this. They're so much better than this. This person in ways is a part of you too. Like this person has goodness in them as well. So this here is just like too much. That's so why I'm not talking to like an abusive person towards you. I feel like they just lied and hid this very well to a point where you were just fed up. That's what I feel this was. This could have been an addiction. Again, I'm, I'm naming a couple things, but this could look like uh, so many things. I just feel this person is so done with it. They're giving it all up and they're coming forward to you. That's all I got to say. So prepare yourself. Hey, this could literally be a person who thought there's no way in heck this is ever going to... You surrendered it. <laughs> it's like, there's no way in heck this person is going to detach from this thing. It's a thing. It's an energy that was just... It, be, it, it, it just consumed their whole life to a point where it was affecting yours. And now, all they see is you. Mm -hmm. They're making some huge decisions surrounding this. They're very motivated to come forward. They've been talking to other people about this. Big boy, big girl pants. You inspire them to become their best self. That's the emperor energy I saw before with the leap of faith they never took. And I'm willing to face my biggest fears. They want to see you in their dreams and other areas too. And they're very um, attracted to you. Like that's kind of a motivator, right? They're, they're taking a leap of faith that they should have taken a minute ago, but they needed to grow up first. That's why I'm telling you it's so important. Don't take someone back for the wrong reasons. Do they want to change their life for themselves? That's really important. That's like a key element to the transformation really being the case. They have to want it for themselves. They do beautiful reading i'm actually quite like <laughs> surprised this reading did a complete 360 but that's why i'm like you're gonna be shocked you're you're gonna maybe even question this person you're probably gonna have that's why i'm telling you i'm warning you just have healthy boundaries it's essential here and i feel like you've already grown them all right that's what i have for you guys if this reading resonated please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time bye